Welcome to Fight Week. Does it feel different this time than it did the last time you fought him? I, it was, uh, feels similar. I mean, you mean when I fought Sergey or when I fought Ty? Yeah, Sergey. Uh, it's totally different. That was a fight night in Norfolk, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so it feels different for sure. We were totally different fighters since then. He said the same thing that you guys have both, you know, it's been so long. You know, he, could, he couldn't say really if you'd improved, but have you seen him improve? Yeah, I did. Yes, he for sure. Uh, I I saw a couple of his fights when he uh, he got a very good performance. You know, using his skills like, you know, throwing this this you know these takedowns, uh, making submissions. And I I can see he gained some weight, and that's muscles mostly. So more power, more strong. Uh, for sure, he's a different fighter. What sort of fight are you expecting from him this time around? Do you, do you anticipate another three-round fight, or do you feel like maybe you can get in and out of there pretty quick? Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure he's a tough opponent still and, and tougher than, than the first one. So uh, it, it will be a tough to finish him like uh, in the first, but uh, uh, I, I, I really got... Uh, the, the feeling that when I go to the fight, I just I just want to do it as quick as possible. So uh, I, I I I see it same this time, but you know it's a it's a t- it's a tough fight. So we'll see. When you got his name, was there any excitement left? Because I know you've already fought him, so maybe there's not the excitement of a new opponent. Or would you have rather it be somebody different? Uh, it's uh, always excitement when UFC calls and, and offer you a fight. Uh, I, even though I've been here long uh, and have lots of fights, I, it's still the same. I know uh, how uh, UFC was a big dream for me before. So whenever they call me offer a fight, I, I'm always excited. Sure, I r- rather fight someone who gets me closer to the top, but I feel like you can gain something in every fight. So I, I was just excited because I love MMA, I love doing it, I, I like to be active and I have a fight, that's, that's the matter. So what would a win mean for you? Because like you said, you wished you, had, you were fighting somebody who could get, get you closer to the title. Do you feel like a really great win against him could propel you forward? Or what, what are you, what's the goal with a win from him? Yeah, for sure. The, the something that I'm seeking in this fight, it's, it's, you know, to put on a good performance, that's it. Uh, win the fight uh, with a, in a good fashion. That would be awesome. So that's 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 my dream. That's uh, what, what I uh, imagine for him. I know he, he's tough, and uh, you know, challenge uh, makes me more excited. Uh, you know, knowing how how big challenge he is. But uh, that that's the things I'm looking for. Great performance. Thank you. Marcin, uh, different haircut style this 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 week. What was the decision behind that? Uh, you know, the, the previous haircut was like a more coincidence. This was more like a mistake, a couple of mistakes. I didn't do any mistakes during this preparation. So. <laughs> not, not in a camp, not in a you know, haircut. <laughs> and so uh, I wanted to ask, did you see Tom Aspinall's last fight? And if you did, what were your thoughts on the performance? <coughs> Uh, I saw the fight, and you know it's crazy. It's uh, you know uh, it's, it's crazy to think what this guy is capable of, and uh, and how quick uh, that was. And where is the roof? That's the only question. Yeah? He, who can stop him right now? I I, can, I cannot tell. I I know you know John Jones in his prime time maybe, but now he's uh, he's a. Uh, he might, might be a little bit older than, than you know, the, the skills might be not there. So I don't know. It's, it's crazy where, where he's going to. Do you think Aspinall is the most dangerous fighter in the division? I think so, yes, right now. Sure. He proved it. He proved it in, the, in this uh, performance. And I just want to stay, ask, where do you think you are in the division? I know you're ranked number eight, but the, the top of the division is a little backed up. So where do you think you are and how many wins will it take to kind of enter that title picture that is a little backed up? Hard to say. I just try, I'm trying not to go so much ahead because, uh, you know, I've been in the situation where, when I had uh, like a very close, uh, you know, I've I've been in a, in a fights when I was really close, you know, to getting there, and I I didn't uh, manage to do it. So right now I'm just trying to focus on on, on the fight. That's that's what I'm doing. 
it's like uh, you know the, my fight with Thomas Pinal was like two two fights ago. So uh, right now it's like look you know looking for some some, some answers that I didn't don't know yet and and see what I can do to be uh, you know the top five uh, fighter. Have you been watching in the Olympics? And if so, uh, what do you think about how Poland is doing? Uh, I, I watched some. Uh, we didn't have so much time to do all the sports I, I like to, but, you know, we, we actually this morning we watched uh, volleyball, uh, Poland play U.S., <laughs> so, and we won. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's... Uh, uh, we, we might not get so many medals that we want to, but, you know, it's still pretty good. Do you think MMA should be in the Olympics or is it a little too complicated because of injuries and a lot of people would have to pull out after a fight or two? I didn't look at that way. Maybe that, that would be an issue, but I think it should be on the Olympics since uh, I see so many other disciplines that are really you know, not as famous as, as MMA and, and they are there. So I, I think uh, it should get there. Thank you. Just going back on the, the John Jones things, you know, everything seems to be pointing that we'll see that fight at the end, the end of the year. Are you confident? Do you think we'll see Jones fight Stipe at the end of this, by the end of this year? I think so, yeah. The, if they keep, still keep it, keep it, you know, as an as a option, they probably do everything to do it. So I think we'll see it. Do you think the winner will stick around to unite the belt versus Tom? Or do you think somebody might win the belt and just set the belt down and say, I, that was all I needed? Are you confident that the winner will defend the belt and or unite the belt? I should say. Oh uh, well, I, I, you know, saying that, uh, it's like I would be saying that somebody is a coward and don't want to face the Thomas Pinal. But you know, uh, these guys, uh, I mean, John and and Stipe did a lot for for MMA, uh, for uh, for the divisions they were in. So whatever they decide, you know, I still I still see it as as long as those kind of guys want to want to want to fight together, I want to bring attention to the UFC to the MMA. I'm cool with that. And if they if uh, the winner give up after the fight, you know, just uh, hang up their gloves after the fight, I'm also cool with it. I think I saw in an interview somewhere where you said that you credit the current win streak that you're on to a change in your mindset. Is that true? And if so, what, what's been the change in the mindset that you're currently on right now? Oh, it's, 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 uh, it's the thing that uh, it's, it's, there's really hard to explain it, you know. Uh, it's, the mind is so weird, weird place that, yeah. you know, words not, cannot describe everything that's going on in your sure. mind, right? And, but, but, you know, it's a, it's a different feeling. Like... Uh, I start to feel like more being being an MMA fighter, I think, uh, being a UFC fighter, see this organization being uh, the guy who really wants to be a part of it, uh, really wants to be a part of uh, great stuff, and that bring me more motivation to to do more work, hard, hard work, uh, you know, uh, it, it brings me like uh, more people in my life who I really wanted to, but I didn't know I, I might. So that, that's kind of a stuff that uh, changed in my mind. That's awesome. I know we hear from a, a lot of heavyweights sometimes that they prefer three rounds. Do you prefer five rounds where you get to show sell more of yourself or do you like three rounds? Uh, you, you know, I don't want to be like so confident about you know I can go five rounds easy because it's not the yeah. it's not like easy. you can yeah. fights is not the, the same you know when you fight uh, and when you spar you know but I'm pretty confident about my cardio. Everyone tells me that uh, my biggest weapon is is a cardio even even in a sparring and I prove it in the fights too. So uh, I would say that my advantage uh, the you know five round fight. And I know a lot of people, and we were even talking to Sergey earlier about takedowns. He's, he's one of the highest percentages of takedown accuracy in the heavyweight division. Is that something that you guys really worked on in camp, is to kind of defend against the takedowns? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, this fight and the previous fight was the same. I, I knew how strong Sergey is, you know, in the clinching, in the, in, in the wrestling, in the grappling. So uh, it, it didn't change. I, I think he developed in in this uh, aspects too so yeah. we work on it and i know the last time you guys fought he was i think at the time maybe 20 25 years old 25 years old i think how different do you think 
that young, maybe lessons experienced 25 year old would be different in this fight. Does that play a big difference, that youth and the inexperience in that previous fight, you think? It might go both way, you know. I see lots of fighters who are, uh, you know, as a, at a young age, they can put on a great performance, but, you know, keep it going, it makes them tired, you know, and, uh, and you know, less capable of doing good things, great, great things in, in fights. So, but, but other, other fighters, I get experience getting, you know, more tough, and uh, they, they are better fighters in time. It's, it's you know, you know how many, how many, you know, competitors were there and they after a couple of uh, fights and you thought they were prospect they were gone yeah. you know it, it can go both way he can be much tougher he can you know be be you know may grow some doubts in his life either way i don't look at this i just uh, i i'm just looking at him as a you know great uh, the, the best version of him uh, facing me on Saturday. And last for me, uh, what are your keys to the victory? What do you need to do to make sure that you get your arm raised on Saturday? Uh, for sure, not let him, you know, take me down, not let him punch me and uh, <laughs> apply my stuff. That's, that's as simple as that. It's, I've never, uh, you know, uh, share uh, so much of a game plan for that, but because uh, how, how I see it,